Hello Virgo, welcome back to New Hope Tarot where we will be doing your reading for June 1st through June 9th. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled. As always though, I will shuffle live. During meditation, Spirit showed me a, um, a light bulb, um, a Christmas light bulb like the like the little Christmas tree light but it was just the one little light the and it focused on the bulb I actually felt the warmth coming off of that bulb so the immediately what I got from it was the fact that you should probably focus on joy and warmth or maybe you are focused Currently on joy and warmth, this may be um, this may be saying that perhaps it's a good time to enjoy those close to you that make you feel good. Uh, almost like the three of cups energy, where you celebrate not just to celebrate, but to be surrounded by those meaningful you know, that give meaning in your life and, and you know, are there um, with purpose. Um, this could also be, okay, hold on. Cards are falling, cards are falling. Okay. Okay, so I truly don't know whether these cards came out in reverse or right side up because I kind of fumbled them back here while I was so, um, so I'm going to leave them like this and we'll see where this takes us. Um, what was I saying? Uh, back to the Christmas light. Maybe you are nearing, um, a, uh, a more joyful time of life you know, a joyful season in your life. Okay. That's what I got with the light bulb. I don't know how that's going to resonate here with the reading, but we're about to find out. All right. Uh, let's go through this uh, two of swords here. Let me just get closer. There we go. You know, with this Two of Swords, the biggest thing that I'm seeing um, is that you have two paths that you can absolutely take. I think they will both get you to where you need to go. However, I feel like one is really lit up, which is this side over here. If you can see all the extra light, you can see all the extra light coming in here. It's, it's almost giving me a two of wands vibe where the, the light is all just showing here. And then this one's like, and it's wide and it's like, hello, this is, this is the path. You know, it's like in that scary movie, it's like, go that way. And for some reason, everybody in the scary movies just go the opposite way. And like, oh no, let's go over here. It's dark and gloomy. It would be safe, right? Now, I do feel like in both sections, you'll be able to get to where you need to get to. But I feel like one path is a lot smoother and you're able to arrive quicker. With this Two of Swords. Um, I'm also getting the sense with this particular two of swords that you may be making a very simple decision, a lot more complicated than what it is. That's all I'm really getting here with the uh, Two of Swords. I'm also getting the sense that you're feeling quite vulnerable 
in regards to this particular decision or this decision is making you feel vulnerable. Okay. All right. Let's take a look here. We have the Fool, the Knight of Cups, and Nine of Pentacles all in reverse. All right. And then we have the Ace of Cups to end it. Okay. What I'm getting here is the fact that you may be hesitant to do something that you consider risky. Therefore, not necessarily making any move at all. You know instinctually what it is you need to do. Still, for whatever reason, you may be ignoring it. With this Nine of Pentacles, it's almost like you are... Okay, so this isn't not this is not going to be accurate, uh, Tarot. Um, but this is what I'm getting instinctually. What I'm getting with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse is that you're focused on the wrong things. Um, you're focused on your inabilities, or you're calling attention to that that is like your weaknesses or what you consider your weaknesses or maybe that's what how you were pursuing something in in your past or maybe that was your situation in your past take it how it resonates but in the end I feel like this is how you're feeling potentially now or very, very soon. Where you, after you follow your heart's desires, you're going to start feeling and you go through the phases. Remember I said like in the um, Christmas light, you may be uh, nearing a joyful cycle of your life, a joyful period of your life. It's like you've gone through the darkness and now you're here, right? You're, you're seeing the light within the dark. Maybe that was the path that you came through. Look at the light. This is all dark. Look at the light. You're, you're coming into a phase where it's more, it's definitely more lit up. It's more abundant. It's more fulfilling to you. definitely more joyful okay uh this flipped over more joyful um beginning we have temperance magician two of swords okay with temperance here it's i i feel that a couple of different things number one you had a lot of healing um, that needed to be done. I feel like a lot of you have healed. I feel like a lot of you need to heal. And some of you are still in that process. I'm getting a lot of different um, healing energies back and forth. And, you know, with the uh, Christmas light, I told you I felt like the warmth. Maybe some of you uh, could benefit from a Reiki session, okay? So I'd, if you've never done Reiki, feel free to go to a local a Google uh, near you um, who can give uh, Reiki sessions. There's also videos online, um, YouTube videos that you can get Reiki through TV. But I, what, believe me when I say I've done both and nothing compares to an actual live Reiki session. Okay. 
uh, the magician, I, I'm, again, both, both of these cards is about creating, right? The temperance can be about um, um, almost like a cause and effect, like tur turning something into something else. Like maybe you turn your, your darkness and you turn it into something that was healing for you. And maybe you wrote a book about it, right? Um, maybe maybe you, you joined a group to get you out of this funk and you found your soul tribe, right? But it could also be in the opposite, but I'm not getting the opposite. Like you can also turn something really good into something bad, right? Like this is lit up and you're turning into a lot more complicated and like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Okay. But I'm, overall, I'm getting a sense of healing and making new things happen for yourself is really what I'm getting here with this magician. That's the major thing I'm getting here with the magician, making something happen for yourself. And honestly, what I'm seeing here is it's, it's like you are recognizing both the truth and the lie of things both the good and the bad of it. And you're choosing with caution is what I'm seeing here with this actual two of swords. I'm not even getting what these cards say. I don't take these words. I, I take the words that spirit gives me, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm actually not getting indecision. Like this right here says indecision. I'm not getting indecision at all. I'm getting the fact that you are, able to see both the truth and lies about it all. And because you are able to see it, you're able to make a clear decision. I'm not seeing the blindfold on this. I'm seeing clarity on this card. All right, we have compassion. And this is talking about having compassion towards yourself and compassion towards other. Remember, I said with the light, it's like you're coming into surrounding yourself. Maybe it's a good time to surround yourself with those who make you feel warm and appreciate you and those who you appreciate. You know, funny, look at look at the, the similarities within these cards. Right? So if you put that there, do you not see that? How incredibly similar these are? What I'm really getting here is that if you can't make up your, your mind and you can't see the truth or the lies about it, talk to somebody that you love and trust. Because I feel like that person allows you to see. I don't feel like this person tells you what to do. I feel like that person allows you to see or allows, helps you see things a little bit differently so that you're able to be, uh, make your decisions a lot quicker. Okay. King of coins, seven of coins. King of coins came out first. Not that it really matters, but Okay, I like this. This is a great outcome. Oh, okay. I was going to put it like this, but Spirit said, no, like this. So I'm going to put it up, but I'm going to read it in reverse. All right, and then we have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I love this card for you. I read, male or female, this is not gender specific. What this is telling me here is that number one, you're super protected. Um, number two, you don't have, I mean, the king of pentacles is a very solid king, right? It's a very solid king, but look how simple he looks. Look at, at the, the command that he's asking for without doing much of anything. He's like, all right, 
I, I got my ish together. Anything that is meant for me, I'm ready for it because I've already cut out anything bad. It's, look, I never noticed this. This pentacle is shining its beams down on him. It's like that warmth coming down on him. That warmth that I was talking about with, um, with that, that Christmas light. I like this. The seven of coins, um, really what I'm getting with the seven of coins is not necessarily, you know, do I have enough? Um, what I'm actually seeing is that you know you have enough, but you, you are trying to protect a few things. Like you're trying to keep a few things to yourself that truly matter to you before you showcase other things out to other people. It, it's like you don't mind sharing your time um, or essence or, or whatever with others, but there are a few things that you're trying to keep to yourself that truly, truly matter to you. With this two of coins, number one, because it was in reverse, um, I'm, I'm getting the sense that you've either made a decision very quickly and, and you've balanced that out, but I'm also getting the sense here that there's a lovely, um, there's a lovely, uh, not, not whirlwind. That's not the word I want to say, but there's like a, a revolving energy that's, that's around you. A good revolving energy, like a revolving, um, uh, people, you know, group of friends that, that constantly surround you. They're very different in a lot of different ways, but also there is, they, they, they balance out your different energies because I see that there is a simplicity yet a complexity to you. I hope that makes sense. It's like your physical world, your material world is simple. Your emotional world, your, you know, your, the things you think about, the, the things that cause emotion within you is complex. That's what I'm getting here. And overall, you have the Queen of Cups. You really treasure things of the heart, you know, the heart matter, you know, again, which is why you're protecting yourself. You're protecting the things that matter to you. You don't mind sharing. You're not greedy, you know, but you also know how to protect your own energies by taking time for yourself. And I feel like this was the huge lesson that you learned back over here. How to maintain your uh, your boundaries so that you are able to share time with others while also maintaining your emotional composure, right? That's what I'm getting here. I Overall, I really, really like this. I don't know what is what decision is coming up for you. But I can tell you that it's going to be, be joyful. I don't know what this is. I feel like you'll see it and it's going to bring you a sense of emotional comfort. All right. That's what I have for you, my darlings. Uh, this is this could be as simple as, Spirit just said, this could be as simple as just getting together with your friends. Maybe you've been like, oh, no, I don't want to spend time with my friends because I'm at, I really am trying to heal and blah, 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 blah. Whatever you're telling yourself, surround yourself with the right people because you don't just heal by spending time with yourself. You also heal by spending time with those who truly adore you. 
All right, my darling Virgos, that's what I have for you. I hope this did resonate. If it did, go ahead and leave a comment or just click that subscribe button for me if you are already a subscriber. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. If this did not resonate, uh, remember these are general readings, so check out your sun, moon, and rising signs should you feel so called to do so. All right, until we meet again, have a great one. Bye.